Welcome to Voice with Julia and my tongue tie vlog journey. Um, I want to start today with inviting you all to a very special symposium that is going to be on May 1st and 2nd. It is called the Tongue Symposium and it is a free symposium for singers and teachers of all levels. In this symposium, we're going to have some really groundbreaking information about how to use your tongue in singing, about the importance of knowledge about tongue restrictions, tongue weakness, tongue rigidity, everything you ever wanted to know about the tongue, the lips, the face, you need to come and hear this groundbreaking seminar. So I will leave that link below so you all can sign up. Again, to register and attend is absolutely free. So the more the merrier. So now I'd sort of like to walk you through what's been going on for me since I had my tongue tie surgery on January 20th. So now we are at April 20th. So that is what, three months post-surgery. Um, I finally just, I, in all disclosure, I actually attempted to do a recording two weeks after my tongue tie surgery in February. It was not a very good idea. Um, things were still shifting around. It was like, the way I describe it is my voice was working very freely, very comfortably, but all of a sudden I had all of this new space to go into and I didn't know what was up and what was down and what was, basically I lost my proprioception of my instrument, specifically of how my tongue and lips and, and all of this should relate to in singing. So it took a little bit of time for me to regain that balance. Um, but I recently just completed a series of recordings that I'm very happy with now. So I would say three months out, I feel, absolutely happy with my singing and I'm sure that I'm going to notice even more changes and benefits as the time goes by but I would say for me okay so what's been going on uh I guess a lot of body stuff has been shifting for me I'm noticing that my body in general is just a lot less tense and even when I am tense because I'm a very kind of high stress individual when I am tense I still feel loose in a weird way <laughs> so like it before I would get so tense my neck would lock up like everything was just like hard like I could just feel this area and it was like Rrr. but now I just feel like right now I'm actually kind of stressed we we're going through a lot of different changes and there's a lot of things on my plate right now. So I am like in definitely in stress mode, but right now I'm feeling that this area is just so soft and that was never the case, ever the case. My flexibility has increased a lot in, in this area, <laughs> not in my legs because uh, you know, that's another thing. I still can't do the splits, but I've noticed that like when I'm laying on the yoga ball that you see behind there, it is so much easier and I can really like reach behind without feeling excessive pressure. Um, so that's something new. In terms of my singing, I feel that everything is looser. Um, specifically also my registers are a little more joined, specifically at the bottom and at the very top. Because before I felt that I always had whistle access whistle voice like that was never a problem but I felt like there was never a way to join it I'm like they're just too far apart now they still are pretty far apart and I don't think I would ever perform those notes in public like I just wouldn't because it just it would be weird but now I can physically get my voice like get high C and C sharp down to a dynamic level that will join with the whistle register Okay, and if you, you don't know what I mean by whistle register, I mean this register. 
So not something maybe that you think like of a loud high E flat that a soprano sings at the end of, you know, Lucia. Not that, that's, that's to me coordinated whistle register. So you're still singing with the full spectrum of your voice. But what I'm talking about is that I can actually, that little voice that you just heard, I'm finding a way to be able to join that at the tippy, tippy top of my voice, which is kind of cool because who knows where that can lead. So I am patiently exploring that. So that's something new. And the other thing is going down into my low register, into the chest register. I feel like there's not a clunk anymore. Um, the, I, and I'm sure it has something to do with the larynx that it's not like permanently hyped up for, and then releases. It sort of can do that gradual, the gradual shifting that it needs to do a little bit better. Um, so that's something really new. In general, I feel just more relaxed when I'm singing. My head, neck and shoulders don't feel like they're being pulled into the game. Because I always felt like there was a little bit of a struggle in the sense that I had to work to keep these guys out of the game. And that was so challenging because it was like, I was expending a lot of energy just keeping those from, you know, knocking on the door. And now I feel like I don't really have that anymore. So I think what I wanna spend the rest of our time talking about right at this moment is this idea like, you know, you might have watched some of my things on tongue ties. You might have, you know, are considering coming to the seminar and you're like, you know, I don't have a tongue tie. I just know it. I will say, like, I actually thought that. When I first interviewed um, Amanda on my, in my group, right, I, she's the myofunctional therapist. And I said to myself, oh, well, yeah, I'm interviewing a myofunctional therapist about tongue ties. That's something I don't have and I know nothing about. So can't wait to see what she has to say. And I really was convinced that I, it kind of had nothing to do with me. Not that I wasn't interested in it, but when I was entering into that discussion with her, I thought, well, this will not have any application to myself. And as I watched her presentation was when I had the realization of like, oh, whoa, oh, okay. Oh my gosh, I have a tongue tie. So why I tell you this is because if you're kind of sitting there like I was and saying, oh, this is interesting, but really doesn't apply to me. I'm just going to tell you, you should just come. If you are a singer, especially if you are doing this professionally, if you are doing this professionally or trying to do this professionally, you better come to our seminar. Enough said about that. Okay. Because I don't want to like leak out any of the spoilers. It's just way more fun to come and see this. So I will put the link below so that you all can register. And, you know, in closing, I would just say that those of you who are following my tongue tie journey and are on tongue tie journeys yourself, you've got to give yourself patience and time and space. And the good thing is, you know, most of the theaters are still not working right now. So you do have this time and space allow yourself to explore, allow yourself the possibility that maybe you could make sounds now that you never could have dreamed about. This is very important. Explore new ways of singing. New, I, and I don't mean genres, I mean actual ways of singing. If you used to do something on this particular, you know, note, note area of your voice, okay, tessitura, whatever, if you used to do something, Try something else and see how that feels because post-surgery, everything is going to be different and you need to allow for that difference because you'll find things that don't work. You'll be like, oh, this is definitely not, still not good. But you might find things that like, holy crap, like I couldn't do that before and now I can do that. And, and teachers were always telling me to do that and I was like, I can't do that, but now I can do that. So really go on exploration and feel like you're a kid, like Alice in Wonderland. Feel like you're Alice in Wonderland. Just like, let's find out if this might work. Let's find out what this might do. So that's what I would say. 
and encourage you all to do as well if you're on this journey. And if you find out that you don't have a tongue tie, I can pretty much guarantee you that you have some sort of weakness, okay? So even if at the very least you come to our symposium and you realize you don't have a tongue tie, you probably are gonna find some things that you can really use to like maximize all of this area, okay? so. Hope to see you there and thanks for being with me today.